Welcome to Dry Your Mind. My name is Joey. In this video, we are going to be talking about don't make assumptions from the four agreements. And I have a 48 card deck on the four agreements and I picked a card and on this card, it says on one side, learn to ask questions, learn to ask questions. And on the back, it says it is always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions until you are as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to a question, you won't have to make assumptions because you will know the truth. When we think of making assumptions, the first thing we think about is probably making assumptions regarding other people or things in our life. But today, I want to talk about the unconscious assumptions that you are continually making about yourself. And when we can understand these assumptions, then again, there's nothing to change but self. So when your inner world changes, the outside world must change with it. So if we can determine that some of our assumptions are no longer serving us, and assumptions are just like beliefs, right? We believe something to be true because we've always believed it. But what if we haven't checked in in a long time with a belief that we actually don't even have anymore? And what happens is, is if we don't really resonate with this belief or this assumption anymore, then we are not going to feel aligned. We're not going to feel right. Something is going to be off in our life and we're not going to feel clear like the like the card says have the courage to ask questions until you are as clear as you can be and i just had a life coach executive coach debbie phillips on the podcast and her career is based on asking the right questions at the right time and we talked about that in the podcast because you have the answers already within you. You just have to ask the right questions. And today we are asking if our assumptions are still valid, what we're assuming in life. And again, you have to take time. And that's what we're going to do today in our meditation. Take time to go within and question your assumptions because in the outer world, we're just living automatic behaviors that we've been doing again and again and again. It's unconscious assumptions. But if you go within and slow down the mind and you say, are these assumptions working for me? Do I feel good in this area of my life? And if you don't, you can say, maybe I need to realign what I want in life with the assumptions I'm making or the beliefs and the patterns of life that I am living right now. And so we are going to ask ourselves this question in meditation and get more clarity about why we might not feel in alignment with certain parts of our life. I mean, you think about the assumptions of money, you know, what did your parents teach you or what was your environment like regarding money? Those assumptions will live with you and be instilled in you throughout your life. But here's the thing, you don't have to carry all of your assumptions and all of your beliefs throughout your whole life. That is the power of going within and saying, do I align with this belief that money is evil and that money should be only worked hard for and you can't earn money any other way but grinding and grinding and grinding 80 hours a week or whatever the belief is. Is this a belief that is still valid to you today? And what we're going to do is we're going to take just five minutes for each four areas of your life. Florence Scovel Shin calls it the square of life. And we're going to go from health, wealth, self-expression, and then love. And we're just going to ask a few basic questions and you are just going to be quiet and see what comes to you because the answers are within you. It's all about asking the questions. And all you have to do is understand, am I feeling fulfilled in this area of my life? Am I fulfilled? And if you are fulfilled, then your assumptions are working for you. And if you're not fulfilled, 
If there's something wrong and you feel it in your body, you feel it, then you can say, what would I like to change about this? And we're going to go through that in this coming meditation. And I just want to highlight Byron Katie because she asks four questions. And we're not going to do the four questions. I'm going to do it a little differently. But if you want to dive into Byron Katie's work, she is all about asking the four questions. And I did do a video on Byron Katie, one of my first videos I ever did, and I'll link that. But for now, we are going to focus on this idea of assumptions and not making assumptions. And I just want to read again this to you about asking questions. It is always better to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions until you are as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to a question, you won't have to make assumptions because you will know the truth. And today we are talking about asking ourselves the questions. And just remember that all of the answers are within you. And that's why meditation is so powerful because you can go within and quiet the noise and be clear and come up with, oh, I was assuming this, but this is not true for me anymore. I don't want this to be true for me. What do I really want? And when you take the time to do that for yourself, you will gain so much power and clarity over your life. So go ahead and begin to relax and find a place to just quiet the mind. Start to slow down your breathing, breathing in, and breathing out, just relaxing into this moment, relaxing from your head to your shoulders, into your arms, your chest relaxing, down into your legs, relaxing everything in your body. into your feet. If you feel any tension anywhere, just note it and let it go. Breathing in and breathing out. You are paying attention to your thoughts and you might have many, many thoughts running around in your mind right now, but you can see them slowing down almost as if they're going now in slow motion. The words are slowing down, the thoughts, the paragraphs, the sentences. Everything is slowing down. And you are getting more and more calm and more and more relaxed. Breathing in and breathing out. Your intention is to discover any assumptions that you may be making in four different areas of your life. And you are going to just question these assumptions without judgment, with just curiosity. And you're just going to sit with these ideas in this meditation. first area we're going to cover is health. Your personal health. What assumptions might you be making about your health? And are these assumptions true? How do you feel about your health? And is there anything that you would like to change. 
I'll repeat the questions again just so you know. What assumptions might you be making? Are these assumptions true? How do you feel about these beliefs and assumptions? And is there anything that you would like to change? Meditate on these ideas quietly for the next five minutes.
The next area is wealth, wealth and abundance. What assumptions do you have regarding your wealth and abundance? Is it true? How do you feel about these assumptions? Is there anything that you would like to change? And one more time, regarding wealth and abundance, what assumptions might you be making in regards to your wealth and abundance? Is it true? How do you feel regarding your assumptions? Is there anything that you would like to change?
The next area is self-expression. How you are conducting your life, your personality, your creativity, how you show up to the world. What assumptions are you making about yourself regarding your self-expression? Are they true? How do you feel regarding self-expression? And is there anything you would like to change? And one more time, regarding self-expression, what are your assumptions regarding self-expression in your life? Is it true? Are these assumptions true? And how do you feel about these assumptions? Is there anything that you would like to change?
And the fourth area of your life is relationships or love. What assumptions are you making about your relationships? You can pick one for now to focus on. Are these assumptions true? How does it feel when you think about these assumptions? And is there anything that you would like to change? And we're going to ask one more time regarding relationships. You can choose one for now. What assumptions are you making regarding relationships and this relationship? Is it true? And how do you feel about these assumptions? And what would you like to change?
We are going to slowly come back now to this present state, taking all that you have learned and all of the answers that you have regarding these subjects with you. And when you are ready, feeling so much better than before, you can come back to the now and open your eyes.